Every year in Helsinki there is an art light festival. There is over 30 art pieces which are playing with light but also voice and space. Today we are going around Helsinki to see it. Uh, it's windy. <laughs> it's almost five o'clock and it's dark and snowing, so let's see how we can see the lights. So the first place where we are going is Suvilahti and it's an old energy production area. In this place I think the art is more like telling about us humans, how we are and what we want and what we love. So. This one is a uh, Domus Aurea, uh, which in Latin means a golden house. It's by an Italian artist, and in here it's uh, the first time uh, shown in for the public. So uh, we have to enjoy the first time of this house. And the idea is that you can go to inside there and share the space with others. It has a bit more <laughs> decorations than our house. <laughs> so these dresses, they, they, they're they representing like love, I think, how it feels on you and you're inside of that and you want to be like kind of inside of another person became the same. And well, they're really beautiful. In this one, the artist, uh, she said that all the lights there, they are some memory with her dad. So it's all the years with the dad and how they were reflected to the color. So this one is like, as now in the moment, I think, getting the stuff what is most Googled, Googled in the world and put the, the words in here and with the sound telling it. And it's like reflecting what we want to be or what we want to know as a humankind. Hampton. Feels like you're like inside of Google the machine, <laughs> hearing everyone's thoughts. And all the music what is coming is not like composed, is made by the machine. What do you think of the weather? <laughs> the weather is really cold. Uh, pretty nice. Pretty nice. You have survived. <laughs> <laughs> the one of the main pieces of the festival is the most serious one. It's by Maxim Velchovsky, which is Czech artist. The name is the physical possibility of death in the mind of someone living, and it's very serious. Uh, he has bring some cars from Ukraine, from Irpin. Like, they're bringing the war kind of to that we can understand how, how it looks. So this car, it was the car of Anna Denisova. 
uh, she lived in Irbin and she was working hard and uh, collecting money with her husband to buy the, uh, this car. It was a uh, cheap and a really good one but not like the newest model but still it was really important for them and then the war came and they had to flee their home and they had to leave the car there because it was too new and shiny and they they had heard that the, the Russians might attack on those kind of cars and so they left the car at home back there and they, they left the house to flee and when they came back uh, she could see already like from the garage from the uh, door of the garage that it was really destroyed and everything looked bad and when she opened the door it was like the car with full of ashes and everything in the garage was uh, broken and the ceiling was down and she said that she she didn't feel like sad or anything but she was so angry that she was just yelling and screaming and didn't like feel anything that there was no feeling anymore because it was all she had and the war had took everything so for the last thing we are going to see a performance uh, called Mechan mechanical project and it's uh, it's supposed to be like a meditative journey and there's lights and mechanics moving stuff so I think it's a good way to conclude this day with lights